Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back on Horse Reality and I'm going to be updating you guys on the progress I've made. I'm also going to be explaining different features of Horse Reality a little bit. Um, I am going to be quoting from the wiki page as well. Obviously, if you need to access the wiki at any time, it's always here. Now, obviously, because this is a game that's in development, some of these things could change, so just bear that in mind. Now, the first thing we're going to have a look at is caretaking. So caretaking is located on the summary page. The summary page will usually contain caretaking, the pedigree of the horse, so basically what horses are in its bloodline. And then we've also got status, for example, with this mare, and this is where you can age. Um, any horse with uh, DP, you can also see if, for example, it's a mare, if it's in foal, or if it's a stallion, whether it's um, at stud. And we can see that this mare has also had an ultrasound. So the caretaking here, which includes feeding, watering, grooming, and cleaning stall and give treats. So caretaking. So caretaking is a game mechanic in horse reality where a player needs to take care of their horse. When a horse is not properly taken care of, it can have several consequences. At this moment, in time, the horses won't die when they aren't fed or given water. So obviously this is a thing that could change, that's kind of what that suggested. So when a horse is very hungry or thirsty, its energy will not replenish. So if we just go back to Wonder here, if I click on training, this is where we can see in the general tab. So if I was not feeding or giving her water, there's a chance that her energy would just stay where it is. It wouldn't replenish um, the next day. So the next part is grooming. When a horse is properly groomed, it'll have an effect on the competitions and confirmation shows. If a player forgets to groom the horse before competing or entering a confirmation show, the score will be lower than when it uh, when it will be properly groomed. So obviously, if you're entering competitions, whether that's confirmation shows or just regular ones, you want to groom your horse, and that's something that I've made sure I do now, every single time. So right now, there's no information for the clean stall and give treats, so players can give their horse a treat in order to raise its affection by 1% towards them. So if we just go back to Wonder here, and if we give her, she was on 97% affection. So if we give her a treat, go back here, and we just refresh the page. There we go, we can see she's going, I've got 98. So we're gonna give her some feed, give her some water groom, and we're gonna clean her stall. So the next part that was mentioned was affection. So the horse's affection is basically its affection for its owner in horse reality. The affection represented as a pink bar is located in the training tab of the horse's profile. So obviously, as you can see, that was the one we were just looking at. So uh, horses can gain and lose affection in various ways. Overnight, the horse's affection will decrease by 3%. By caretaking and treating the horse, the affection will be increased. So obviously, if we put uh, Wonder here in for a little training, so let's get her to train on the changing bend. You can see that her affection has increased. So the next thing we're going to look at is energy. So energy is a measurement in horse reality used to restrict the daily activities of a horse. This simulates that's daily life ensures that they cannot participate in uh, activities infinitely. So basically there's a limit. When, you're, when you exercise your horse or participate in events, some energy will be drained. The amount of energy drained depends on the activity. When the energy bar hits zero, the horse has done enough activities for the day and it won't have any consequences. So basically, confirmation shows always take 15% energy and competitions take 25% energy. So you can regain energy over the day. So a horse will gain plus 10 energy every hour if the horse has been properly taken care of in the last 24 hours. If the horse is thirsty or hungry, caretaking bars um, filled less than 25%, he or she will not regain energy. And there are currently no items that will replenish energy in the game. So basically what I like to do is first thing in the morning I will log on and I'll get my horses to do something that will take usually about 75% energy. Um, that's what I normally do. If I go to Z here, for example, we'll just do some care tech with Z, we'll do all these. So what I normally do is I come in and I will click something that's usually you know, going to take a lot of energy. For her case, because she's at a higher level here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. But with my foals, I never do more than 75. Right, so I'm going to get her to practice serpentines. Okay, so that's going to give us 33% of that training. That's going to take an hour. Now you can see that her energy is totally gone now. But basically, if I come back in a couple of hours, because I have properly cared for her, she will actually have some energy and I'll be able to train her again later in the day. Which is something, um, if you have a time to do, it's good because it gets you a little bit more progress and a bit more XP. So the next thing I want to have a look at is physical fitness. So obviously, when we're looking here at Z and Wonder, uh, Z has got 100% fitness and Wonder's got 99. So fitness, physical fitness is the horse's state of health and well-being and more specifically the ability to perform aspects of sports and daily activities. Proper physical fitness is achieved by proper caretaking, training and keeping the horse healthy. 
better the physical fitness of the horse, the better it will perform in events. So for me, I at this point will not enter like horses into competitions unless they have 100% physical fitness, they're 100% perfection, that I've groomed them, I've fed them properly, I've done all the caretaking because I want them to have the best shot when they go into competitions. Otherwise, there's really not the point of wasting the money on doing that. So the next part I want to talk about is the training. So training is the way to make a horse perform better in competitions. In order to train a horse, the horse will need to have enough energy to be trained. Players will be rewarded with experience by training horses depending on the number of clicks the player will gain more or less experience. Each training will cost the horse a certain amount of energy and improve the horse's competition results. The training bar will increase, as will its physical fitness and affection. The physical fitness is important in competition, so there's positive consequences for the results. When the training bar is at 100%, the horse can progress to a higher level all the way up to the Grand Prix. So obviously, um, we can see here that this uh, wonder is on CEI1. Okay, so she's 65%. She's completed first level, second, third, and fourth. And every time I complete a level, then I get the little um, level this horse up, and then I can go to the next level. Now, obviously, we did have the introduction of the round pen now, which means once your horse is trained and you took to 100% in a level, you can still actually exercise it if you purchase the round pen from your state. So if a horse is not trained, its fitness and affection level will slowly decrease overnight if the owner has been online in the last 24 hours. So here's a hint, play around a bit with the uh, area, arena, track or trail, and how long you train your horses to find the way which you will get you the more clicks and XP or the fastest progress for the horse. That would be interesting because I've been sitting going, I should really work out exactly what's the best way to train each individual horse. But I haven't done that yet, so that might be something I should look into. So basic training. Foals uh, can already be trained in basic training. If in the basic training, the horse uh, learns all the basics of handling, basic commands, ground training and riding. Once the player confirms the basic training, the exercise will show up and the player can start training the horse. Once the horse has become three years old and its basic training has been finished, a discipline can be selected. So obviously you can't select um, the discipline if the horse isn't three years old. Because I've had foals who have completed everything with um, in that category of basic training and I'm waiting to select this one discipline but I have to wait until the foals at least three. So selecting the discipline. After finishing basic training, if the horse is three-year-old, there are multiple disciplines to choose from. This includes dressage, driving, endurance, eventing, flat racing, show jumping and western reining. You're free to choose. Um, every horse can do a, do every discipline, but hang on. Horses will be better in some disciplines than others, which can be assessed by entering them in the movement category in confirmation shows a few times. By doing so, the horse's potential will be discovered. When checking the horse's profile, the player will see which discipline the horse had performed best. The discipline with their best results will show should be selected as the horse has the most potential for that discipline. You can only make your choice once per horse, so choose wisely. So how to do it? Go to the training tab on your horse's profile. Okay, so if we were doing that, obviously, we would go to the training tab. Uh, then on the lower right hand side there's a section where you can select discipline. At the start you select start basic training. For adults after finishing basic training there are multiple disciplines to choose from which we were looking at. Every breed can do a discipline but some breeds are better at certain disciplines and other disciplines will be added in the future. Once you've confirmed uh, training bars and exercise will appear on the training tab. After the training in certain level reaches 100%, you'll see an orange button in the spot where the button for start basic training and choose disciplines would be, allowing you to level up. Um, now, I don't have any horses right now that I can demonstrate that with, but basically that is how you would go about that whenever you go over into the training. For example, this horse has moved up from the basic training. I selected a dis discipline, which was Western reining, and have gone from there. So obviously, do you check to see which thing your horse is most suitable in and go from there. So I'm going to go and put some of my Mustangs into the Mustang Society show here because I have a couple of stallions that I want to have into these. Now, okay, smoke screen, screen I want to enter in. I want Attica, Paranormal, Dara, Blue Finch, Shakira, Avalon, Wonderwall, Apricot, Gloss, uh, Custard as well. Is there any other stallions that I want to enter at the moment? No, no, I know. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at the view results just to sort of see how they're getting on. Obviously, we'll have to wait until the show is actually over. Okay, Attica's top of the minute, but he might not stay there. Apricot and Wonderland. Okay. 
Now, sometimes what might seem really confusing with confirmation shows is the fact that you might put a horse in that's better than another horse, but your other horse does better. And whenever I first started, I was like, hmm, this seems kind of weird. But actually, there is a reason for this. And if I just go into the wiki here to show you guys, so if I click on wiki, so if we go into the wiki and we go to game info and then events and then confirmation shows, basically there is a randomization factor with this so sometimes your horse might perform really well in the confirmation show and it might really show itself off and then other times it's going to be like oh i don't really i'm not really feeling it that's basically what it is that randomization factor is there for um so that's what i thought was kind of nice and interesting about it because sometimes you put a horse in that you're like oh this horse should probably do really well but basically what it says here is a real question would always groom his horse before going into any kind of horse event, which means we've included the grooming of horses in all scores, so we've also included a show factor which is kind of a random number that affects the total score of the horse. This is to make sure you won't have the same scores each time and displays the horse's flair of that day. He can be grumpy and lazy one day, while the next day he might strut his stuff and show that he's the prettiest of all. So that's basically what it is, uh, because I have noticed, like for example, if we go here and have a look at some of my horses, um, like Avalon, for example, and let's compare Avalon to Custard, for, just for um, argument's sake, okay. So I know that Custard is not as good a horse as Avalon, okay. Now, Avalon and Custard, I have entered into confirmation shows about the same time. But you can see here that Custard actually has one sometimes, um, and Avalon has one more. And that's because I find that the better horse is going to win more, but it doesn't mean that the horse won't occasionally lose, which has happened. So Avalon here I've been reasonably pleased with, he's done very well. Um, Custard here obviously has more varied results and maybe just not as solid um, overall, but I um, have actually put him in some of the other competitions as well. But that just kind of gives you a rough idea and I will jump more into the competition side maybe later on. So the next thing I want to talk about is the status icons in the game. So if we just go to any of these stallions here, you can see that there are these little icons here. Now basically what that is for is these stallions are all up for stud, okay? And you can do that from the update tab where you can put them up for stud and you set that. Now once that's set, that means that stallion is standing at stud and this is what this icon indicates. So each of these horses are up for stud. Now there's this one that has this little dumbbell. Now, I'm going to have to kind of explain the difference between this. So if we click on Burden here, if we go to the training tab on Burden, you can see that Burden's not doing any training right now, but he can do. Whereas if you click on Smokescreen, now Smokescreen didn't have the dumbbell, um, this, as you can see, he's still doing training. So this is a really quick way, say for example you log in the game and you're like, oh, which one of my horses is still doing training or which one isn't? This is a really good way to quickly have a quick look and, and see who it is. So basically we know that this horse isn't doing training, so we're going to put Burden in here now to train. Now if I go back here and refresh this page, that dumbbell will disappear. So if we go back here, you can see that Burden no longer has the dumbbell. Same thing here, Rosie for example, she's got the dumbbell, so we click on that we can see that she's not doing anything right now, um, so we can put her in here to do some exercise. So let's bring, go back in here once again. It's disappeared. Your wonder it needs to do some training. So we're gonna stick her in to train a little bit and that icon will disappear once again. Now the next thing is obviously this is a different icon. This is all on all of my mares and these all of these mares have been covered. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all in full, but it does mean that they're covered. So each one of these mares has been covered, and you can see that from the summary tab. Um, so it might say due in eight days, or it might say it's been covered. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you're definitely gonna get a full, but this is what this icon indicates, that the mare has been covered. And if that icon disappears, it means that it either wasn't successful, or maybe she possibly lost the full. Um, now the next one that I will show you guys the market one. So I've got two folds here that I'm going to put on the market. So basically if you go to the update tab, what you can do is sell horses. So we're just going to put these horses up for sale. So we're going to put this foal up just for sale so we can show you guys. So basically this is what shows that the foal is on the market. So if I click on this foal, this horse is for sale. So this is what this icon means. Now there is one other icon that I don't currently have right now, but I'm going to explain what it is. And it's a circle, it's like a yellow circle with an exclamation mark in the middle. What that means is that horse has not had its caretaking done. So if you have a horse that has a yellow circle with a black exclamation point in it, that means that you have not yet taken care of that horse. 
Um, so that, as far as I'm aware right now, is all the different status symbols. I haven't seen any other ones at the moment, um, but that is just a brief rundown of what they mean. So the last thing I want to show you guys is that um, Sarai had her foal, so this is Sarah here. So if we click on Sarah, so Sarah I'm quite pleased with. Um, she's come out with two very goods. Um, she is 690 in overall genetic potential, so I'm quite pleased with her. Um, I'm going to start competing her probably, I would say pretty soon actually, I think. Um, yeah, so she's in pretty good physical fitness and affection. I've done her care, so actually, if there's still time now, okay, there isn't time to enter her in this current show because that's the award ceremony has started, but we'll go and have a quick look to see how our stallions did. Okay, so Attica has finished out second overall in that particular event. The rest of my stallions are sort of varied. Smokescreen obviously wasn't feeling it, um, but reasonably pleased with that. Um, I have a couple more foals that are kind of here, I suppose, in the next couple of days, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you have a good day. Bye!